Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to look at the Ximen Dunxia month chart for the month of September, or more precisely the uh, Metal Rooster month, and check what we can actually do this month with this chart. Are there any special formations that we can make use of that can help us uh, in particular situations throughout this month. Now, the chart is uh, valid from September 8th all the way to October 7th. So that's the month chart in Timon Dunzia. And um, in this month, so from September 8th and October to October 7th, there are in fact two palaces or two sectors that are specifically useful um, to us and that we can make use of. The first one here is the West sector. Now here in the West sector, we have a few very, very nice formations. Um, we also have the moon at the level seven, which is excellent, and the open door. So this all indicates that this is a great sector to tap into if you need any type of clarity. Like if you're a little bit lost, uh, you're not quite sure uh, what you need to focus on. You're not quite sure which way to go. There's like just so much happening. Maybe there's too much information that you're getting about a particular issue, or maybe there's too little information and you're just generally stuck. Uh, mentally, mostly, um, stuck in a position where you're unable to make a decision, then this West sector is excellent to help you out. So all you need to do is back towards the West. Yeah, you can do this outside your house, in a park, at the beach, anywhere you like, or of course, inside in your home or your office. And just make sure that you sit with your back towards the West. And when you do so, uh, then just focus and meditate on getting clarity. How you meditate is entirely up to you. Maybe you want to journal, maybe you just want to do some breath work, but actually just ask the universe to give you some directions as to where you need to go or give you guidance for the next steps. What is it that you have to do? Just kind of explain the problem as much as you can, yeah? And then just ask the universe to give you a hint, a clue, directions, open the path for you so you know where you need to go. And uh, once you do that for a few minutes, yeah, so usually we recommend between 10, 15 minutes, not too long, you don't have to do it for half an hour, but 10, 15 minutes is the minimum. And just see what kind of information downloads from the universe. Maybe you see something in front of your eye um, that kind of shows you visually where you need to go or what the next step is or maybe suddenly you have a flash of inspiration uh or maybe maybe you start talking to yes yourself suddenly sometimes we do this you know to just kind of reaffirm what we're doing or to talk things through with ourselves so maybe you start talking to yourself and suddenly you see things from a different angle whatever it is just be open to whatever it is you may just also just jot down some notes of whatever ideas are coming and they may not make sense right away but sort of reflect on them throughout the day and then you will see that the information that you need is actually right there in front of you. And obviously you can do this at any time of the day, every single day during the month of October. Um, Sorry, September, <laughs> not October. We're not in October just yet. So every single day during the month of September, you're able to do this. The time of the day doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether the West is your destiny palace or not. It's really, really irrelevant because this is a month chart and we can all make use of this month chart. Now, the other sector that is quite favorable uh, is the Northwest sector. Now, the Northwest sector has more to do with people management and emotional management. So um, with the snake here, you can actually manipulate other people's emotions or your own for that matter. Um, to help you see things differently. So let's say you are stuck in some sort of like an emotional uh, loop and you just don't seem to break out of it. Like there's just one repetitive emotional thing going on in your head over and over and over again. And you just need to get out of that, jump out of that. Then you can tap into the Northwest and just ask the universe to just remove you from this emotional disturbance or this emotional pain or whatever, whatever loop that it is that you are stuck in. Ask the universe to um, reverse this into something positive 
or help you reframe it into something positive. And again, you can do that every single day of the month, 10, 15 minutes per day, doesn't matter uh, how long you do it, where you do it, just minimum 10, 15 minutes. You can do it longer, of course, and just focus on what it is that you kind of need to detach from maybe that you want to um, cut. So as I said, if you're just stuck in some sort of like emotional or mental loop, just cut yourself out of it. Now, you can also use this for people management. Now, um, if you want other people to do something, um, you want to make sure that they buy into your idea or that you sort of like gently nudge them towards doing um, something that you wanted them to do for a long time and it and make it seem as if it was their own idea, then you can use this as well. Again, just sit with your back towards the Northwest and then just give a command to the surging snake. Yeah, so it's not just the universe in general. Make sure that you command the surging snake in particular to ensure that the relevant people, the stakeholders, you may even name them if you know who they are, um, see things your way or that the surging snake manipulates the situation in such a way that the people suddenly buy into uh, whatever it is you want them to do. Yeah. So you can use this for people management and for emotional management. Emotional management, this works really, really well. Yeah. Especially if you are struggling with some sort of emotional issue and you just can't seem to uh, jump out of it. Yeah. So use this if that is the case for you. All right. So this is the Tsimen Dunsia month chart for the month of September, the month of the metal rooster. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below or contact me directly. My email address is in the notes to this uh, video. And um, as always, I would love to hear you, from you. I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. Or if you just liked and shared the video. I will see you guys soon.